This is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to auto publish your WordPress post to your LinkedIn profile as an update. And so to do that we'll get started. Um, I'm going to use not kickstartcommerce.com but I have another uh, site that I use for side projects and tutorials called uh, kickstartcomtest. Uh, dot com and it is a WordPress site that is hosted with InMotion hosting and I use InMotion hosting for a number of projects and I like it because of their WordPress hosting uh, solution it's easy it's affordable um, probably about a hundred dollars a year and uh, it's reliable and like I said I mean the the page time page load times are uh, pretty pretty comparable to to that if not better than a HostGator or even uh, GoDaddy so let's get started um, like I said I'm using a simple uh, WordPress installation here that's using the 2016 theme and so to get started we are going to log in to the WordPress admin area and so we'll get logged in here and one of the first things that um, that you're going to do hopefully I typed in the right password and I did is to go to the plugins area and once you go to the plugins area go to add new and the plugin that you are looking for is called LinkedIn auto publish and I'm just going to type in LinkedIn auto and there it is it is LinkedIn auto publish which it pu makes or publishes your post automatically to LinkedIn and it is an xyzscripts.com plugin uh, some of you may be familiar with the Facebook auto publish plugin that's also uh, created by XYZ so we're just gonna go ahead and click install it installs you go and you activate it the plugin is activated, and once the plugin is activated here on the left hand side, you can, um, there will be an additional menu item called LinkedIn Auto Publish. Go ahead and click LinkedIn Auto Publish, and it takes you to the settings. And what you have to do, one of the things is I, I had already uh, attempted this before, so that's why it has all of the old information in there, but we're going to have to create a link. And so click that link and it'll open into a new page, which is the XYZ page. And to, to take a step back here, so, so the reason why we're using this post is, one, it will uh, greatly increase your, your blog traffic in terms of being able to put your content in front of your connections. So I have, uh, not that it's that many connections on LinkedIn, but a little over 900 connections. And so to be able to share with my connections the content that I'm writing, I would manually have to po make a post, go copy the link, copy the title, copy some of the content to create a summary or whatnot, post that to LinkedIn, and I have to do that every time. Well, the question is, what happens if you get sick? What if you forget? What if you get busy in a, in a day um, or go on vacation or any of those things? Uh, this plugin, this LinkedIn auto publish plugin will, will help you out greatly because it'll allow you to not only, uh, you can schedule your word, uh, your WordPress post and content, um, just natively, but when you publish, it will also, uh, or rather when you schedule for a future publish date, you will also be able to set the settings to go and publish to your LinkedIn uh, profile as an update, which then in turn, hopefully people will click read your article at your website, increase your website traffic, um, or share that with others that are in need of your content. So we're going to get started in terms of getting going to the LinkedIn site to create a new app. So we click that link there. It opens up in the developer app, and I'm already logged in. Um, I already have another another site or application that's there so we're just gonna go ahead and create a new application and select create a new company and I'm just going to name this kickstart 
commerce and you can name it your company, your name, or you know, what have you. And I'm just gonna give it a quick description. Um, actually, I'm gonna change that name instead of uh, my name. I'm gonna actually make it WP. And LinkedIn doesn't allow you to use LinkedIn. And so what I did was just kind of transpose some of the uh, letters to numbers. Uh, so it still looks like it says LinkedIn. Um, so LinkedIn, WP to LinkedIn. Just put auto pub um, auto pub WordPress post to LinkedIn, and then you'll need a eighty by eighty pixel um, image for your application. And so I already have something that was downloaded. Uh, I think it's command prompt. Yep, there it is. I'll just use that just for the sake of time. And then it asks you what the application use is. I tend to just um, choose content distribution site only because that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm trying to get content from my WordPress website over to LinkedIn. Then it asks for the URL and I'll put in uh, kickstart commerce without the WW. So kickstartcomtest.com. Uh, and then it asks for an email address, and I'll just use my regular info at Kickstart Commerce. And then, of course, you got to provide a phone number, and then you have to agree to the LinkedIn API terms. You submit, <clears throat> and now you are ready. Um, default app application permissions. Typically, the only thing that I change is I'll come in here and make sure that you can write or share. Now you have a client ID and you have a secret ID. So when we go back to our WordPress, you can see there's the client ID, there's a secret ID. So what we need to do is come here and we'll need to capture that ID. Go back, paste it in, go back, capture our client secret, copy, and then we'll need to also paste it. And then for most of those settings, you can change this. So this is basically, this will say the title of the post and then whatever the permalink is. There are other options there. You can add a post excerpt. So if you you know write a, a high level excerpt or a summary of your content, you can do that. You can add, actually add that in. You can add the actual content um, as well as the uh, blog title as well as uh, the username or the user nice name um, which is used basically user display name and then it says you know do you want to attach an image to the post if the I would always just set this to yes so if your post has an image it'll automatically post when shared in LinkedIn and then you can choose do you want to post this publicly or do you want connections only I typically just go with public um, because I want the greater I want the greatest opportunity of visibility and the great greatest opportunity for increasing visitors visiting my website. That being said, enable auto publish to my LinkedIn account. That must be set to yes. So you can kind of see this kind of follows much like the the face I did a tutorial for the Facebook auto publish plugin. This is very much a XYZ uh, script fill in terms of the admin settings area. I don't really mess with any of these. I just leave them as is. Uh, and basic, I mean, they're just basic settings. You can publish WordPress pages to LinkedIn. I don't. Um, I just typically focus on um, the post. And then if you wanted to only post specific categories, you could put it there. I tend to post for all. And then everything else, I just leave the same. So we'll go ahead and save. And so one of the things, as that's saving, I'll take you back here to the authentication keys. So you have the auth 2.0, and then you have the auth uh, 1.0a. And so we're going to use 2.0. And so go back to your WordPress admin. And right here, it gives you the, it says specify the authorized redirect URL. 
basically copy this URL as is, copy it, go back to the developer, paste that here, click add, it adds it, make sure you click update, it's been updated, and so now what needs to happen is it says application needs author authorization. So we'll go ahead and click authorize. And then when it authorizes, now you can see this is the, so this is the, um, the title or the name of the app that we gave it. For this, I, I transpose those. Now what you'll want to do is give more of a description. Uh, there, I just did that only for the sake of this tutorial. In addition, you can see the logo, so that would probably be the logo for your app or your company. Um, nevertheless, it's going to ask you to log into your LinkedIn, and so I'm going to attempt to log in to LinkedIn so we can allow access. <laughs> And we have successfully um, authenticated. You can see that here in the green little status bar here. And so now we're ready to test. And so one of the things that you'll want to do, just go to a post or click add new. And so as this post comes up what we'll do is just put in a this is a test post post and then we'll just put something like hi this is a test post you can go and then if you you typically go ahead and publish but you know, just to show you the LinkedIn auto publish box. So if you're working on content and you didn't want to enable the auto post to your LinkedIn for specific content, you could come down here, change that to no. Um, if you didn't want the image, you could override the default settings. These are basically all default settings that were back over here in the LinkedIn auto publish settings. So you could override those. For now, we're going to leave them as be. Click publish. And so now, <clears throat> it is published and what we'll do is just take a visit to the website and you can see here under recent posts it says this is a test post we'll click that and there's our this is a test post and so what I'm going to do is actually log into LinkedIn here which I've already logged in and under profile you're going to go to your updates when you go to your updates and it may take a moment um, for it to to basically go and post and you can now see we said recent activity and so there's our post and so this is how you post automatically from WordPress to LinkedIn um, and so this is a great way so kind of a, an example even though we use this as a test post a great example is being able to share something like this here so there's an image there's a title um, and then there's basically the author which um, is a good friend of mine Kevon Liebert and um, his his beginning to his content there is opening and so this is how your content would look um, and here's how like I said my content looks based on how, what I did in uh, WordPress so that being said uh, I hope that this tutorial has helped you out hope you understand um, how to go about you know getting your content published from WordPress to LinkedIn and not having to manually go and share uh, your information so Stay tuned. I, I hope that you take a look at the other tutorials that I have for Twitter, uh, Google Plus, and um, Facebook, and how to publish from WordPress to those social networks. Again, it will, it will be a lifesaver in terms of the labor and intensiveness to 
um, share your content with the masses and then for them to be able to share it. So let me know if you have any questions. Drop me a comment below if this tutorial has helped you out or if you have questions. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And visit us at kickstartcommerce.com and learn more about SEO and domaining strategies. Thanks. See you around.